So they, they do like a meet and greet. They sit down. And then the alien has them drink this uh, liquid. It's called uh, Tronya. And um, this is very interesting. At the end of Empire Strikes Back, and there may be other references, but at the end of Empire Strikes Back, there's a very clear reference uh, to the movie Tron, which uh, came out uh, just a few years after uh, Empire Strikes Back in 1980. This is the Disney movie. It was okay. It's like one. It's one of the first examples of a, a computer animated uh, assisted movie. Yeah, it's not like the um, the stuff today where the whole thing's like done in the computer. But yeah, it's like. Um, you watch it, and there's, it's like live action augmented by, um, you know, lots of uh, various uh, effects. And there are, like, full CG scenes in this film, and I think that's uh, that's a first, isn't it, for a film of this uh, type. Uh, so, yeah, they drink this stuff. It's called Tronya. So, yeah, okay, the, the Tron reference in Empire Strikes Back is at the final scene. They're all gathered in front of this... Uh, Blue Skywalker, Princess Leia, and the droids, they're standing in front of this gigantic display port, and they're watching the Millennium Falcon blast off to um, look for Han Solo. Um, and you can see on this uh, screen, uh, there's some kind of astronomical uh, object. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a galaxy to me. But, uh, you know, like I said, I don't know what this is. So check out the bottom uh, left and right edges of this uh, display port. It looks like the feet of a recognizer from Space Paranoids in uh, the movie Tron, the original.